officially started. Today's video is going to be kind of a hodgepodge like the last vlog. You really need to figure out like a tripod situation or some kind of mount in the car. But you guys seem to really like that style video. And I like it too because as I've said, I'm only uploading once a week. I like my content, if you will, whatever I'm talking about to be relevant and not a week old, you know? I have a whole bunch of bathing suits that a company sent me. I'm gonna put that in here at some point. Okay, I love the colors. I love that it's floral, but I also love the colors because they're like peaches and almost like a neon orange. The bottoms are super cute. High-waisted, a little bit cheeky. Nothing like uncomfortable, too revealing. And the back is completely adjustable. Here's what the back looks I like. love this one. It's one shoulder and it covers your mom poop. It's ruched and very nicely high-waisted. Okay, one piece action here. This is very adjustable because it's kind of scrunched here. You could scrunch it up or pull it down. It's a little pocket here. And it's also a little cheeky. That's what the back looks like. Strap here. This one might be my favorite. So many reasons. I love the colors that it's like teal, turquoise, also has those pops of orange. The scalloping all along the trim and the fact that it's a high neck like halter. It just ties. And the back, let me flip you. I don't have any clips or buckles. This is just straight across and then it just ties up here. So it's very comfortable and easy to wear, high-waisted. This is beautiful. This little cover-up, it is light and like whimsical. There's buttons. I have them unbuttoned, but there's buttons going all the way down. You can tie this as tight as you want or leave it loose and cinch it. The sleeves have a little bit of a cute ruffle there and then this is open, but it is so pretty and just very very light i know for me especially in the hottest of hot weather if you're wearing a cover-up you don't want to be too hot but this is just so light and airy so pretty if it wasn't see-through it would make a really cute dress this is the last one and it's a one piece with a couple cutouts and then these rings in a tortoise i love the colors of these like a terracotta a blush and a mauve and then I'll show you the back. Looks just the same, but again, no clasps or buckles. It just pulls on. Loved every single one of those bathing suits. I actually have quite a few Cupshe bathing suits. You might remember my navy blue one shoulder scalloped is from them. My, I have a polka dot one, a red one I've worn to Disney. They're always like my go-to's because the prices are so good and affordable. They're comfortable, like I said, very minimal clasps and buckles and things pressing into your skin. They're just easy slip on. They all run true to size. I'll put my sizes for each bathing suit in the description. I want to say that they were all, they were either all extra small or all small. They all fit perfectly. So I'll put my sizes in the description box and I will link you out to each bathing suit and that cover up. Definitely grab the cover up. It's beautiful. I think even that would be pretty over like a bodycon easy tank dress because it's see-through. You obviously have to wear something underneath, but I just think it's so beautiful and whimsical. If you have like a vacation, spring break plan somewhere, it would be so pretty to just wear over top of like a bodycon dress because it's just so light and feminine. So I will link you out to everything there. I have a handbag unboxing. Actually, actually a few handbags. One handbag unboxing, one I've already unboxed, but I want to share it here. And then we need to discuss this because I, oh God, something just came off that car in front of me and went under my car. That scrunch bag, I am so obsessed with and I've only had it for less than 24 hours. So we need to talk about that because I got it in another color as well. And, oh, I also have some new arm candy that quite a few of you have noticed on Instagram. So I want to tell a little story about that. And I'm on my way to go get my eyebrows done. I, I used to say wax. I haven't had my eyebrows waxed in a really long time. Just through all of the chemical peels that I have been doing and like retinols and products I've been doing. I stopped waxing and just let her tweeze because my skin's been like more sensitive and with all of the exfoliation that's been happening, I could burn. So she's just been tweezing me. And also, my friend Amanda, who does my brows, has done my brows since high school. She also does, she does microblading and she also does lip blush. I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but essentially it's tattoo like color for your lips, like semi-permanent color for your lips. I've seen one other person on Instagram that I follow did it and 
seeing anything of it. And then the last couple times that I saw Amanda, she mentioned it. And I'm kind of intrigued by it. And she said, yeah, you do have like a little bit of white. Like, I guess over time, the color in your lips fades. You lose it. Like, you lose collagen in your face. And so it just replenishes. Like, it just puts back the color in your lips, which is very fascinating to me. And so we're going to talk about that today and maybe set it up. It has to be, I told her, it have to be a, like a your lips but better color because I enjoy wearing lip products and glosses and stuff and I wouldn't want, you know, it's a set, for me, I mean, you can do whatever color you want, I guess, but for me, I would just want my natural lip color but like filled out because I have like fading around my lips. So we'll see, but I'm excited to talk to her about that. Showered this morning and I semi blue dry my hair. This I've been doing this lately and just trying to put not as much heat on my hair, but really just drying the crown of my head, which is where I want volume, and then just letting the rest air dry, and then I'll hit it with my curling wand, curling flat iron thing. Later when I get home, do my makeup. I don't have any makeup on, just sunscreen because I don't like to wear makeup before I get my eyebrows tweezed. So, yeah, the weather is beautiful. It's 77 degrees, finally. It's been, I felt like spring was never going to get here. And it just, it's crazy how much the weather can affect your mood. Weekend we have plans all weekend for Easter. So Saturday we are going to be with my family. My brothers are coming, sister-in-law. And then Sunday we'll be with Dan's family at his aunt and uncle's house. And I think the kids are off Monday as well. So I'm excited to just see everyone. I hope that the weather holds out. There's a 40% chance of rain on Saturday. And then Sunday, no rain, but only in the 50s. This is the part of spring where I'm just praying for consistency. <laughs> now this vlog or video, if you will, is going to be all over the place. But I kind of like that. You get a little bit of everything, and I hope that you guys do. Slight change of plans. I was going to go home and bang out some work, but I looked at the time and I saw that I could make Louis. Um, he's got like a track meet, and the school is a little bit far away from our house, but where my brow appointment was was kind of like close by. So I'm Dan's here, so I came to meet him and watch. I'm putting some sunscreen on my shoulders because even just sitting in this car, I feel them burning and it's so nice out. So we're going to go do that and I'm going to table the work for now. handbag chit chat first I'll show you this one I already unboxed on my live with Rachel the other day if you are new here or don't know my very good friends Rach Moon put her Instagram below and I do a podcast do a podcast we're not there yet we do an Instagram live every Tuesday at 10 30 Eastern Standard Time we talk about everything and anything but this last Tuesday I unboxed this and I want to share it here so if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have such an obsession. I have the little Nano. Let me grab it. So Rachel is actually who I blame for this purchase. This gift, I should say. Dan actually got me this one. And it was this whole big thing because... Initially, he thought he was ordering the small, but this is the Nano. And then I ordered the small to compare. And I ended up keeping the Nano. And... It's beautiful. It's a rhinestone Colt Gaia bag. And I saw recently that, it, well, it comes in, I knew it came in pink and green and maroon. I did not know that it came in black. 
but I've been thinking about it ever since. And the reason that I could able was able to justify it was because it's different sizes. So this is the small, which they call the mini. It's the small. And then this is the nano size. And I think because my lighting and I'm in front of the window, it's like blown out. You're not getting like the true effect of how sparkly this thing is. You can see it in the black, but it's beautiful. The black seems like it's a little bit easier to get a hold of than this. There's like pre-orders on this right now for the summertime. The mini comes in and out of stock very often when it comes back in stock it's like there's one and then it goes off but yes I love this bag so much and I feel like I was saying on the live I, this is very dressy it's a great like wedding bag evening bag this one I feel like because it's black it could go casual it could also obviously go dressy little black dress fancy black tie but with a graphic tee and you know a blazer or something I just feel like being that it's black it could be a little bit more casual so I wanted to share that in case you missed it and then I have I have an unboxing literally have not unboxed and I'm using my little eyebrow scissors because I left my box cutter downstairs box is huge. I don't think the bag is actually this big. Maybe there's just a lot of bubble wrap. Okay. Hint, hint. It's from Prada. Okay, I need to put this down. This is insane right now. The tissue paper says Prada. That's crazy. Here we go, here we go. This bag was actually a replacement bag. And by saying that, you might... Where's the booklet? You might already know what this is, but wow. I'm, I don't actually have, I've, I have a couple Prada bags, but I've never gotten them in the box. The other one that I have, the like crossbody sport bag, came in a dust bag. And the other one that I sold before this one did not come. This is really nice. This is like, like a clothing tag. So last year I purchased the Prada Corn Husk Straw Tote for the beach, for the pool. I loved it. I actually wanted this bag or like that year's version. Or actually it was the year before. They came out with like a straw tote. And that's the one I wanted last year. But they didn't have it. So I ended up getting the Corn Husk bag. But then I saw this year, they brought the bag back. They changed the style up a teeny tiny bit, but essentially they brought it back. So I ended up selling my corn husk bag to a follower on Instagram and got this one. <laughs> and I'm so excited because I haven't seen it yet. So pretty. This is what it looks like. Love it. So the leather braiding and like the handles are just like the one that was on the corn husk. And then there's two little straps here that you can tie. This is straw tote. It has the Prada emblem here in leather. And I like this and I liked it before the corn husk one because I feel like I felt like it was more of a handbag than like a straw bag if that makes sense. And I think that's because of the leather handles. The straw bag like the drop wasn't as large as I would have liked and the handles were a little bit wider and the bag itself had like a very beautiful like natural it was natural corn husk finish to it but it was a little rough and this is a more like woven a little bit softer but I just think easier to like style it yeah there's a little bit of like fraying down here but essentially it's just straw bag if you like this style I will link you to another one by, I think it's, is it La Fleur Randall or Loewe? I'll link you to this one and I'll also link you to one that's a little less expensive. This was actually less than my corn husk one and I think that's because of the actual corn husk and how it was made, the handles. So this one was a little less than that, which is nice. So that is my new little product bag. And this could, you know, this could easily be a beach tote like you could shove your little like pool tote you could put a lot in there but it also is a great little handbag lightweight handbag for the spring and summer okay 
I want to talk to you guys about these Stony Clover scrunch bags. Let me go get them. Hold, please. So I showed you this one in the car. So this is their new scrunch bag and it's in avocado. The avocado color is sold out. Peach is sold out and I think the lilac is sold out. But these are nylon bags, very lightweight, have a good price point. You obviously could patch them up and put stuff on them, but I just liked it plain. I love this green. This is a very trendy color right now. It's hard for me to wear this color, it just isn't flattering on me, so I love it in an accessory form. But there is a bag, I think it's a designer, but I don't even actually know the designer. I've seen it on Amazon a bajillion times. It has like the scrunch handle and it's a little bit, it's a structured bag. It's about the same size and I've seen everybody with it and I've just never been into it. I don't really see the hype with it. I've seen everybody with it. It comes in this color, it comes in a lot of colors. It's very structured. I think it's more of like a faux leather too. But this one I love because of the slouch. These little bags, like I... I don't love the little bags. I feel like, especially the more structured they are, the less versatile I feel like they can be. But the fact that this one is, it's just a very good casual bag and it fits a ton. Everything I had in my bum bag, which was the bag I had beforehand, I mean, I have like large lip gloss pouches and different wallets and stuff. The zipper, I love the Stony Clover zippers. They're very simple. Because of the drop and because of how soft this bag is, the zipper makes it really easy to get into. Let me get you the other bag that I wanted to talk about. This was the other bag, the Jody bag from Bottega. It comes in this green color. This one is from Amazon, but one of my biggest complaints with this one is the zipper. And because it's more structured, it's a little bit harder to get in and out. But this one, because it's just, it's nylon and it's so soft, it's great. So this one comes in every color that Stony Clover offers. Like I said, the exception of the three that are sold out right now. But I would highly recommend this bag for spring and summer, especially if you like that crunch, the scrunched style and look. And I actually got it in one other color. Can you guess? Can you guess? This is the Sony Clover packaging. If you've never ordered from them, I got it in the Ruby. And I actually had plans to purchase the Ruby because I heard that they were discontinuing the color. And I love it so much. And then coincidentally, they came out with their whole range of colors in the same bag. So this one's spring, summer, this one fall, winter. I love this bag for as an evening bag, especially in the fall and winter. And back a little while back, you might remember, I purchased these Stony Clover brooches and I plan on putting them instead of patches, I plan on putting the brooches on this bag some way or another. They're pins and I love the, the pearl and the crystals. I think will be really beautiful on the ruby red. I just love this color. It reminds me of Disney. It's like a Disney red. I think again for like a just a cute slouchy little evening bag, casual day to day bag in the fall and winter. I love the handle. The ruby, they don't have like their full range of items in the ruby, but so that's why I really wanted to have a piece because I really do love the color, the hue of this shade. So those are my two scrunch bags. Highly recommend them. Good price point too, especially, you know, Sony Clover, they're expensive, but they get more expensive when you start adding patches. Without a patch and just for the bag itself, I think right around $128, I think is a really good price. The nylon's incredible quality. The zipper is amazing. You can fit a ton and it has the Stony Clover leather pouch in here and it's just really well made bag that fits a ton and it's great like on the crook of your arm or just holding it. I love it. So I wanted to share those. A little story time about my newest piece of arm candy. This is a Cartier Love Bangle. It has the four diamonds and totally unexpected purchase. So I stopped in to the local jeweler by my house, the place that I go for all of my watch batteries, watch repairs. It's a, it's an upscale jewelry store. And I went in there in the one day because one of my bangles, one of my 14 karat gold bangles broke. So I brought it in there to see if they could fix it for me. And I, as they were like writing up my ticket, I was, I was with Addie and I was just like looking through the case and I saw this and I saw another one, another Cartier love bangle. Shocked because it's obviously, weird to see a Cartier piece in in a like local jeweler store. So I asked to see it thinking maybe it was like a dupe, you know, or like just not Cartier, maybe similar to Cartier. So they took it out, brought over the screw, and I 
have a pretty good eye for like authentic versus not authentic and I know this bangle has been duped so many times over the years. I used to have one. Some of you might remember it was white gold. I have since sold it. But honestly, as much as I love it, I just feel like the price just keeps going up and up and up and up. And I just can't, couldn't justify it ever. Like I couldn't justify it, especially. So this bangle, so there are two bangles they had. One was a solid 18 karat yellow gold. And then this one has the four diamonds. When I looked at it, I looked at, like the inscriptions, the sizing, the Cartier logo, everything it was legit. Even the girl that was helping me, she's not, she wasn't that familiar with it. She was like, I don't know how we got that. I don't know if it was like an estate sale or something. Cause I know, I know another jewelry store near us sells really high end jewelry and Rolexes. They have an estate section that they keep in the store that they get from estate sales and stuff. I've, I've gotten a couple of pieces from there and I just have always loved the idea of like a vintage piece from an estate sale. So She's like, I don't know how we got this, but we've had it for a while. So here's the thing with Cartier Love Bangles, though. They're sized, and you want them to fit, like, more on the snug side so they're not clanging and banging and scratching up. So the one without the diamonds was a size 17 or 18. This one was a size 16. My old one was a size 17 and I have since lost a little bit of weight so I knew that the 17 probably wouldn't fit me anymore and sure enough I tried that one on and it was way too big there was way too much movement and I knew it would just get scratched up the one of course with the diamonds was a perfect fit I felt like Cinderella in perfect condition like very minimal scratches I am just so blown away I didn't even tell you the best part so it was priced the price that it was priced at was way under that of what it's going for on Cartier. So on Cartier, if you go in and get the four diamond 18 karat gold love bangle, it's priced currently at $11,100, which is just crazy to me. I would never, ever, 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 ever spend that even if I had all the money in the world. I just, to put a bracelet, like a, a watch is a different story, but a bangle, like I just, I couldn't justify it. So it was never even like a thought in my mind. The price that they had on it was less, almost half of that of what it's going for on the website at, in Cartier. And so she brought it into the back. She's like, let me get you, see if I can work a better price. The price she came back with, they took $3,000 off of the already like half slash price that it was. And I was like, I almost thought like, this has gotta be a mistake. This is crazy. Like, what are they just trying to give, get it away? Well, She's like, do you want me to put it on hold? So I was like, okay. <laughs> I go home and I tell Dan and he's like, you need to get it. Like it's just meant to be that you were there and it was there and the price and the size that it fits you and how crazy is that? So, so we went back and got it. It's so beautiful and it's crazy because he, we were literally days before this, we were talking about the Justin Clue and I love the little, the small version, which is fairly newer. I like the lar I like the original too, but I felt like it's always kind of chunky and you know, I like to layer up my bracelets. So when they came out with the smaller Justin Clue, I was like, oh, that's really pretty. And Dan was like, let's do that for Mother's Day. We'll make it a trip because um, the closest Cartier to me is King of Prussia Mall. So he's like, we'll make it a trip. We'll go to the mall. We'll get your bracelet. So this was like days before I walked into the store that day. It's so crazy like how that all works. But I will tell you, this was even less, even less than the Justin Clue. Like for that price, I, I couldn't leave it. And then the woman was even like, because after she talked to the owner about the price, the, the woman was like, I want one for that price. So it's just crazy. I don't know if they're just trying to get rid of it or maybe they just really truly like don't realize the value of it. I don't know. I mean, I know the markup on jewelry is astronomical. A lot of it, you're just paying for the name. So I don't know. But it, I mean, the way that they came off the price that much money tells me like just how much the markup is on jewelry in general, especially Cartier. But they gave me the box. They gave me the screw, like everything crazy. So that's the little story with that. I actually think though I might switch it and put it on this wrist. I haven't decided. It's freaking heavy. I will say very, very heavy. I forgot how heavy it was. I never came back on. <laughs> Sorry. We had dinner. We're talking to Louie. I think tomorrow we're actually headed to look at a prep school, like a basketball prep school. We were just talking about that. But I think I'm going to cut it here. We're going to go watch The Real Housewives of New Jersey because we have not seen that episode yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed this mishmashy vlog unboxing bathing suit try on randomness <laughs> thank you for being here happy easter and i'll see you next week